Okay, I am now going to show you how I've done my line drawing here of these beets. I think they deserve to be on a postage stamp. <clears throat> so here is a video to show you how to now take this line drawing that I've done, um, resize it and crop it to within our postage stamp. So I'm going to open up my layers palette. All right. <clears throat> so here is, over here on the layers palette, here's my beats drawing, and I have my image locked. I now want to get rid of that image. I'm going to drag it away, and here I'm left with my line drawing. As you can see, I've used several different brushes and different colors. I've worked with the opacity. I could have gotten a lot crazier with this, but for now we're going to go with this. I'm going to select all my lines, so I just clicked above um, to the top left and I'm dragging a rectangle over all the lines. It looks like everything is selected. I'm going to group these now. So object group. I could have also done command G. And now I'm going to drag my beats over to my postage stamp. As you can see, they're bigger than the postage stamp. So I'm going to resize them. You know, I could make it so they fit perfectly in the middle, and I haven't taught you yet about um, composition, but I don't want to put them right in the middle, and I sort of want to make them bigger. Don't worry, we're going to be able to crop this. I think it's just going to be more interesting if they're a little bit bigger. Now, of course, the beats are going off the edge of this inner rectangle, but that's okay. Um, so I like the way this looks. These beats look great. Okay, and these are only, I want everyone to notice, these are only lines. These are not shapes. There's no fill here. It's all just line. So I am going to select now, this is how I'm going to crop the background, um, or crop just with, within the rectangle to be on the stamp. So I'm going to select that rectangle on the inner part of the stamp and I'm going to bring that to the front so object arrange bring to front now I'm going to open my pathfinder window this is a tool we haven't used yet so I'm gonna open the pathfinder bring it down here sort of keep my little area organized and each of these things will <clears throat> um, each of these things will allow you to um, sort of cut apart the things that the, combine the shapes and the paths that you've already made. So we're going to select this front path, and I'm also going to hold shift and select my drawing. And now I'm going to use the pathfinder. Oops. I'm going to use this mode, which is um, minus front. So we're going to compound. Oops, sorry. No, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go back. Okay, um, so actually I'm going to right click, which in our case is, um, I'm going to right click with my mouse and go to, hmm, darn it. I want to create a mask. Clipping mask. Make. There we go. So now I have a clipping mask. And this has been cropped to be within the rectangle. If you want to have that outside rectangle, you can do that. And our smart guides will allow us to make it the exact size that it was. Yay! And there we go. And now I have my stamp. I now want to add um, the price of the stamp. We're going to do forever because that means the price will always be the right price. Our text tool is right here. It says type tool. And when I click that, if I click somewhere, it will just create a filler text that says lorem ipsum. That's just a filler text. So I'm going to put forever. And we also want to say that this is a USA stamp. So I'm going to click again, put USA, and resize. When I'm resizing, I'm holding shift so that it's always the same. We can change a lot about this text, and we haven't talked about that yet. Um, but as with most of our tools, when they're selected, once we have this 
um, font selected, if you look at the top, this is where we can change a lot of the stuff. We can change the color of the font. We can change what the font is. Right now it's Myriad Pro, which I just don't like that font. But you can choose any of these to personalize your stamp. We'll get into more um, typography, which is the study of type, um, later. This is your very first little foray into it. So, we now have a line stamp all about beats. <laughs>